fill in the table using the Caesar cipher. The Caesar cipher is going to take each letter and move it to the right three letters. So an A would become a D, a B would become an E, and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to shift everything to the right three. So D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, G, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, A, B, C. Okay, so everything is shifted to the right three. So let's practice encrypting and decrypting. So when you're encrypting the message, you're starting with the top row, and you're going to encrypt it into the bottom row. So an A would become a D, the T would become a W, the A is still a D again, C is an F, K is an N. The okay, next word A is a D, T is a W, D is a G, A is a D, W becomes a V, and N is a Q. Okay, so that's how we encrypt the message. Now let's say you were given an encrypted message and you want to decrypt it. So what you're going to do is look at the bottom row and go to the top row to figure out what the letter was. So a W, going into the bottom row, came from a T. A K came from an H. An L was shifted from I. A V was an S, an L was an I, V was an S, an I was an S, an X was a U, and a Q was an N. Okay, so that's how we encrypt and decrypt using a Caesar cipher.